25 years of practice, it's been quite an amazing journey. And I'm really grateful because I've learned so much from my travels and I get to bring that into my practice. And it was part of the inspiration for creating Santa Fe Soul Center for Optimal Health. You know, a place where you walk in and you're greeted by a prayer wall that represents all healing and all spiritual traditions. And I think that's an important place for people to really feel received. What I'm most excited about, Gabe, um, being a functional medicine doctor and I'm among, you know, this amazing tribe of people that are really coming from the heart, that we're really here to help people change the trajectory of their lives through self-care, through getting to the root cause of what's going on. But this whole emerging field of regenerative medicine is so exciting, which is really the science of, na of using nature to heal naturally to restore damaged tissues, under-functioning endocrine systems and, and immune systems, that we can do it. We can do it. We don't have to rely on prescription drugs. Self-care, you know, I have to say, I guess it was like my 20 years of just seeing so much unnecessary suffering on my tables. I thought, you know, I'm going to start a self-care revolution because I think of all the revolutions out there, we start with ourselves, is, is an important one. And for the, me the message that's so important is that self-care is a way of life, not an event. That's really been kind of the place in which I like to work with my patients is this place of empowerment too, that taking care of self in, in all the levels, from how you wake up in the morning to how you express gratitude, to how you're nourishing yourself from the earth, how you're creating a healthy electrical system. And there's no better place to, to get that restored than being outdoors. And I too have been so grateful from practicing Qigong and other types of movement exercise, cultivating that healthy way in which our energy is moving throughout our body is so essential because, again, so much of disease doesn't have to happen. And as we look and see our friends and loved ones um, on a day-to-day -day basis go through their own journey, you know, we look within ourselves and say, what, what could I do differently in my own life? How do I want to show up for my loved ones? So for, for all of you that are listening to really, when you think about your aging process or how you're waking up and how you're feeling every day, to really feel that desire to be alive and live the best life possible.